I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> What's going on everybody? It's Justin. And I'm Brooke. In our job as recipe developers, we develop hundreds of recipes per year. And to do that, we have to go to the grocery store. At the grocery store, we spend so much time looking for fresh ingredients, taking in inspiration, and making friends with everybody at the grocery store. And this is the show where we put those skills and those stores to the test. And today, we have a very special episode because it's Thanksgiving. All the way from Orlando, Florida, and Los Angeles, California, we have Adriana and Jackie! Yeah. Oh my goodness! Okay, whoa! It has been a mess. We've been together a couple of days and I feel like it already is unbearable to be around us. And I love it. The energy for us is good. I just imagine for others. In the stores today, it might be a little hectic. A lot, a lot of energy. I think all of us individually have a lot of energy. So putting us all together, it's a little crazy. In one place, I mean, shopping, I'm cooking. having a great time. Yeah. yeah. Well, okay, so you guys are here because we are celebrating Thanksgiving. And I am curious what Thanksgiving means to all of y'all. Christmas pregame. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hell yeah. It's your first, like, like gathering where you have like a bunch of food and family and then it just ushers you right into the whole holiday season. I love that. That was really succinct and beautiful. <laughs> that was actually beautiful. I should have went first because this is going to end on a negative note. Uh, no, Thanksgiving's great. I just, I don't really celebrate it that much, honestly. Normally I just hang out with my friends, but I definitely am not in the kitchen and I don't know, it's my least favorite holiday. But I'm really excited to eat y'all's food. Our food today? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, our food. Our food. Our food. That's, what we're, that's what's happening, right? Yeah, I wasn't I, clear that's we right. didn't just invite them yeah. to chill out. We're oh, okay. putting Jackie and Adriana to work mm -hmm. today. They're gonna be uh, shopping with us. They're gonna be cooking with us. Jackie yesterday said that, like, I'm just gonna be in the background chilling, right? Yeah, and I was like, I you do not understand how today is no, going no, to it's go. It's really unfortunate for me because we are on the same team. I'm sorry. So, sorry in advance. And she hates Thanksgiving. So. I will do my my best. I will not let you down. It is the Beautiful. shorties versus the tallies. It is Adriana and I versus Jackie and Brooke. And um, you're going down is basically all I have to say. We all can't even reach the tall shelves. So <laughs> we are two people who enjoy Thanksgiving. We enjoy cooking. And we clearly enjoy eating. So y'all are going down. Dang, the shade has been thrown and it's only been five minutes. Jackie and Adriana, can you guys cook? I cook and I like to like recreate recipes from the theme parks at home. Jackie, you cook? Um, <laughs> here's the thing. Everyone's like, why did you invite Jackie today? She doesn't like Thanksgiving. She doesn't cook. What is she doing here? To entertain you guys, uh -huh. you know? And to support you. Oh, good. good, to entertain. All I'm gonna say is that if we win, y'all have no excuse. Oh. Oh. That part, <laughs> I think we would be shamed after we just talked all that smack. Y'all better win it. Typically, for holidays like this, it's going to be for a lot of people. So we're going to shop at a place where you go for big bulk buys and discounts. We're going to Costco oh. and Sam's Club, two very popular chains that are all over the Ding Dang country. Yeah. So just like we do on all the other Grocery Showdown episodes, it's time to decide who gets what store. And the only way to do that with the big oh, wheel. Hey. There's uh, usually music playing right now, but it's fun. Janky wheel. Janky wheel. wheel. It got some improvements, but it's still janky. This is the same wheel. <laughs> I, okay. <laughs> I've watched this show um, so many times, and every time y'all say this wheel is janky, I'm like, it don't look janky on camera. In real life, <laughs> <laughs> this boy ain't doing too well. <laughs> All right, you ready? All right. Give it a good hearty spin. The sound of it. Oh! 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 Yeah! Okay! <laughs> I love you wanted Costco. I kind of wanted Costco. Me too. Yeah, that was Me too. That worked I, out. Yeah. I also wanted Costco, but I'm naturally. <laughs> yeah. I had I no know. idea. I like really, we had that. We had talked about it a lot before this episode. Did not know that you were a Sam's Club girly, and now I feel infinitely better. Yeah, you man, I got the dog. As somebody mm -hmm. who is the only person who wanted Sam's Club, we go win it. Oh, Sam's yeah. Club. Okay. I'm excited for the $1.50 hot dog. We can have that we for are lunch, not right? going for hot dogs, Jackie. <laughs> I mean, we have to feed ourselves. In order to make a meal, you have to make sure that you nourish yourself first. You know, I'm thinking of you and me. Okay. Time to say goodbye to the big janky wheel. Bye-bye. Bye, janky wheel.
All right, so what are the rules for today? Our rules for today, we have to stick to a budget of $200. We have to use store brand wherever humanly possible. Fats and oils and sugar, flour and spices are all included. And we only have three hours to make enough food for 10 people. We're basically <laughs> kicking an entire Thanksgiving meal. We are cooking some form of turkey, two sides and a dessert. Or a cocktail, right? Yep. That is something I'm good at. Oh. I used to bartend. Yay, I'm bringing something to the table, finally! <laughs> it's yeah. gonna be so good! It's gonna be great! I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> what? what the f May the best duo win. We will. <laughs> Jack, Julia just said we had to do it nice. Sorry. <laughs> Give me your hand. Sorry. Give me your hand. Good luck. Good We're luck. Go shopping. Happy shopping, yeah. friends. Happy You're shopping. Stay so safe. Oh, I really genuinely. <laughs> ge that was a genuine good luck. No, it wasn't. Come on. <laughs>
$5.48. A giant container of sweet corn for $4.87. A bag of pink ladies for $6.68. Yellow potatoes for $7.78. And I know this seems nuts. We also, in addition to getting corn muffins, we also got corn muffin mix. And that was $6.98. And I think that's everything. Wow. Wow. Y'all look like right? y'all weren't able to get corn muffin mix. <laughs> Y'all, your face y'all made when he said corn muffin. Yeah. Whatever. Well, we had, it's funny because it was in like a secret, well, you know how like above where they like have the saran wrapped pallets? I saw it, it and yeah, of yeah, course. He had to be a little legal. <laughs> I was a little goblin. I was like. <laughs> <laughs> and I ripped it open and I took the um, the corn mix. So that, that is our haul. Wow. Um, what do you think? We spent. You want to consult really quick? Yeah, yeah. Do you have a number? Don't, don't turn away. <laughs> um, 172. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. We think y'all spent $183.56. That sounds about right. That was wow. really precise. That was so specific. <laughs> it, I had to do a little bit of math, adding everything up. Adriana, you want to read off that number? It was one hundred ninety nine dollars and sixty. You know, I really had a feeling that it was like going to be closer to two hundred. That's really that's really close. Yeah, that's very close. Wait, the most that's amazing. The most impressive. Ninety nine dollars. Yes, and the wow. most impressive part of it was that we did zero math as we were doing yeah. the grocery yeah. shopping. That's we impressive. put it all in a big thing. We were like, I guess we'll figure it out. That's and I was impressive. like, we're definitely gonna have to pull shit out, and we didn't. Congratulations. No, that's good. Good job, good you job, guys. guys. Thank you. We have quite a cornucopia of food. Yeah. And y'all got a cute little bottle over there. Tell us what it is. <laughs> well, we have a cute little bundle because, as yeah. it was said, we're laser focused. You know, yeah. so we came in, we locked in, and we got what we needed to get, we got out. You and got, out. You got Jackie to be focused? <laughs> That's I a know, lot. truly a talent. <laughs> I was like, truly damn. A talent. You got a gallon of whole milk for $3.89. You know, we had to get some barbecue and it was $6.79. I'm sure you guys are like, why is there barbecue sauce? Well, you guys know I'm from Texas. Mm -hmm. And um, Brooke is doing a really cool spin on a Thanksgiving dinner with we. a little bit of we are. <laughs> <laughs> All you have to keep reminding me, it's a we thing. But we are going to do an ode to Texas and make a barbecue style Thanksgiving. Oh. So that is why we have barbecue sauce over here. And we got this for $6.79. Obviously, we couldn't just get one because it's Costco, so they gave us two. We were speculating in the car what y'all might do, and we were hoping that it was Texas and style Texas, inspired. Y'all yeah. yeah, don't know us. Okay, yeah. sorry. <laughs> Wait, you said you were hoping? Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. we, kinda we wanted it. Oh, we kind of okay. knew. Okay, okay, okay. Only because okay. like, I would be excited to eat that. That's fine. <laughs> we got fresh garlic for $5.99. And then we got a big thing of oranges for $8.99. We got a gallon of vanilla ice cream for $14.99. And speaking of vanilla ice cream, we also got these beautiful papples. Are they actually called papples or did we make that up? We made that up. We made that up, yeah. So it's apple pears <laughs> and we have renamed them as papples. And then we also got a big thing of juicy bacon for $14.99. We got three bottles of apple cider vinegar for $10.49. We definitely need a chicken stock for what we're doing, and that was $9.99. We got two bottles of hot sauce for $9.39. And then we got hot honey for $9.99. We got a big A bag of yellow onions for $7.99. We also bought a rotisserie chicken, but ours was a little bit more expensive for $4.53. That's cheaper. No, that's cheaper. Ours was a little bit cheaper for $4.53. <laughs> 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 Like, Economical. <laughs> we got two big bags of green beans. They were $5.99 each. Um, I'm gonna keep it 100 with y'all. I did not want green beans. I wanted collard greens because collard greens are giving great barbecue side, but they're also giving classic Thanksgiving side. Yeah. I make them every year for my family, and Costco had not a single leaf of collards <laughs> in the whole store. So we should have known. I mean, should we? Mm -hmm. They should know they better. They should have known, exactly. They should know better. They should have known. We also got Parmigiano Reggiano for $16.05. And last but not least, we saw these really yummy smelling croissants <sighs> in the Costco. This whole box was $5.99. They make these croissants at the Costco. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be serious. I don't know if they just like pop them out from like a distributor frozen and put them in the oven. But we saw a bunch of croissant dough and we saw them all rolled up and they look like they make them at the Costco. With all of these things purchased, I know to y'all it doesn't look like much. However, we will turn this uh, molehill into a mountain. Yeah, that's how that goes. Yes. Great. How much do you think they spent? Um, one hundred sixty-eight dollars. Oh, Justin, did y'all confirm I, on that? Yeah, I, yeah, I trust my partner. Actually, <laughs> actually, 
I trust my teammate. Yeah. You're very close. Our grand total was $164.02. Mm. $4 shy. $4 Dude. shy. Well, I feel I knew y'all left money on the table. And also, <laughs> the deal. Here's the deal. Why would you do that? Does it really look like there's $40 difference between these two? I feel like, and I think I noticed through the conversations, like the onions were more expensive. I think Costco might be a little so, bit pricier if per a item. there's a $40 difference. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Literally. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> If you took away the champagne, it would Dang. be the exact same, and this is the so much more. But if you take more. away the hot dogs and churros, saying. it looks like the same balance. I think you have that on the corner, so it makes it the, look like it's more. crowding up the edge of the table. Mm. Yeah, just spread it out. Look. You know, okay, now we all of a sudden have the same amount. Look at that. It's an illusion. Well, regardless, <laughs> this all looks really good. I'm really excited to see what both of us, all four of us, kick up. Cook yeah. Up. Um, all right. Let's rip, let's go. Let's rip it. Three, two, one, we'll do it all together. Uh, yeah. Exactly. yeah. So ready? Yeah. Okay. Three, two, two one. one. Let's do this! Okay. Ah! <laughs> We're obviously breaking them down, but I'm wondering what you're doing with yours to satisfy this theme park theme that you guys have got. So I think maybe the most classic theme park protein is a handheld protein, and that is a turkey leg. <laughs> there are two options. We have that bacon. We have two ways that we're using turkey, spoiler alert, and we can't decide which one we're bacon wrapping, but yeah. we're gonna decide last minute, but there will be a bacon wrapped something. Yeah, you can get you can get turkey legs at a theme park, and you can get um, hot dogs yes. at a theme park. Wait, let them, let them settle, because they're laughing so and not no, listening to us. Over here. What is Jackie doing? I, I only heard like half of what Justin She's said. She's just organizing school. <laughs> you not even cooking. Listen, I started this off by telling everybody I don't have skills. So if it takes me a while to out measure Get settled it, in. That's what it's gonna be. Said. Don't worry about me, worry about yourself. Basically. <laughs> so what we're doing with our turkey, <sighs> since you asked, we're gonna break it down. Obviously, I'm gonna get it all in pieces that will actually cook in the amount of time that we have. Then we're gonna rub it with a little bit of spice and we're going to roast them on a rack like you would a whole turkey, but just in turkey pieces instead of the whole turkey. I'm laughing at myself because if you really look at what's going on in comparison to what Adriana's doing and Justin and Brooke, <laughs> and I'm taking my time just putting seasoning in a bowl. I should be done by now, but I'm like, okay, no. measurement. Don't okay. feel bad. I, if I were gonna have an honest moment, um, this potato peeler is the sharpest potato peeler I've ever met in my entire life. And just so y'all know, my nails are press on, so nobody worry. <laughs> but um, I just shaved half a press on off. <laughs> So we're gonna I have press on potatoes. Already. It's just like half Oh fruit. no, you did cut it. <laughs> Jesus. She's struggling with her onion cutting. Oh, oh no. no. It's okay. Don't put this on camera. Okay. It's so embarrassing. Take your hand off. There we go. Okay. This is the so sharpest one. But I will exists. use this. I will not use this. Oh, turkey board. Turkey board. Sorry. Jesus, God. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right, all right, all right, it's fine. Woo woo, cut the ends off. Yeah, there you go. And I didn't waste they it that time. Nope, you're good. I was getting so much enjoyment out of this. Flat side. Yes. So now, sure, yep. <laughs> yeah, 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 yep, do that. Why are you saying sure? That's fine, that's fine, you're doing it. You're doing it. Yep. Okay, sure, okay. sure. And so, um. I have kind of onion before. Yes, uh-huh. <laughs> Yo, wait, what's going on over there? Nothing. We're focused. Uh -huh. We're focused. I want y'all to zoom in on her face so when I watch this she back, I know exactly what's going on. <laughs> I'm so worried about what's happening. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, chef. I cut the whole leg off the turkey, but I don't want to use it as a whole leg, so I'm going to cut the thigh from the drumstick. And it's crazy, because after you break down enough animals, you kind of think, like, could I break down a human? Oh. Oh. <laughs> A full, a full, a full, and I oop. <laughs> and I, <laughs> and I what? And I oop. Look. Thirty minutes. You, I, I passed. Yep. Holy. Thirty minutes. Right. <laughs> so I finally got my turkey girl broken down and mostly defeathered. Honestly, there's still some feathers on there. It's just gonna have to be what it is because I don't have time to take them all off. She looks beautiful. Thank you. I did my best. Um, thank you so much for your sacrifice uh, with chopping the onions. We really appreciate you. I'm gonna rub it down with the spice mix that Jackie so lovingly made me, and I'm going to get it in the oven at a super high heat, like 30, 40 minutes. 
We're gonna drop it low and I'm gonna let it cook all the way through. Hopefully this whole thing only <laughs> takes about Sorry. two hours because honestly, I don't have much more time than that uh, to cook the girl. So here we go. Okay, so that's where we're at. Um, Adriana, Justin. So we're making the mashed potato funnel cake. So mashed we're going to Ooh. basically make mashed potatoes, uh, put cornstarch in them and then pipe them out into hot oil. That's gonna make our funnel cake. And then I got something special for our um, topping. topping, which for a funnel cake, you normally get like a cinnamon sugar topping or a um, powdered sugar topping. But absolutely free 99 was the packets of Parmesan cheese. It's gonna look like powdered sugar. I'm gonna make my mixture for my sausage, but you wanna explain yeah. what you're doing? Yeah, dressing and, and stuffing are not the same thing. At least in the world I grew up in, people generally say that like stuffing, you stuff it in the turkey dressing, you put it on the side. But I'm used to making cornbread dressing, which is more of a southern thing. And so I am making the cornbread dressing. We just got their pre-made cornbread, um, which are these cute muffins. So I have a whole bowl of like crushed up uh, cornbread and that's what's gonna be the base for my cornbread dressing. I'm making the barbecue sauce. She's making the barbecue sauce. That's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna add a little seasoning, a little flair to make it our own because we don't wanna just use store-bought barbecue sauce. But yeah, I'm gonna mix it all together, put some seasoning in it and make a nice little barbecue sauce. That's what I'm doing next. You're gonna do it so well. I'm so excited for you. Okay, so I realized also I just have to do it in batches. And now it's working. I'm making meat sludge. We're making pink sludge like in a freaking McDonald's. But it looks kind of like ground meat you get from the supermarket. So I don't know, we, we specified that we're making like a like a, a dog ducking, turd ducking, but basically it's gonna be like the hot dog with like turkey wrapped around it, yep. and then probably hopefully wrapped in bacon, yep. and then on in the bun, and then maybe a little bit of the Stuffing. dressing and stuff, you know? Try to cut a whole pound of bacon all at once. <laughs> it's fine. I've never done this before in this fashion, but in the interest of time, I'm gonna do something moderately unsafe. One hour down, two to go. <laughs> okay. Woo-hoo! Wow. Woo Love well, that sound. Mm. Ew, Jackie! <laughs> Gross! Oh yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. I think we have to do a, a chef's taste a oh, little true. bit. No, but I think y'all need Cheers. to add some more cinnamon on that. <laughs> I think we'll, we like, chop them up and get them in there, they're gonna be really good. The bread has like a natural sweetness to it. Like it doesn't have a lot of cinnamon sugar on it, which I enjoy. I wanna add, if you're a pro at snapping green beans, you can like have a green bean claw like I have here. Sort of just pull them out like strings one at a time. How's your barbecue Sorry. sauce coming? It's good. Yep, yep, yep. Ooh. Oh, I like that. You, the only thing I need is just like a little bit more heat. We have some, okay, some um, hot sauce. Big old hot sauce there? Yeah, let's put some hot sauce in it. I really like that. Okay. What did you feeling put in it? You feeling it? It's a secret. Okay, wait, what are you what are you putting into the meat? I'm making a sausage and I put in paprika, I put in fennel seeds. I would have put in sage we didn't have. And I feel like fennel really makes sausage taste like sausage. Like when exactly. I when I used to make like vegan sausage, I put a lot of fennel in it because that's what gives it the sausage flavor. I'm also adding apple. I feel like apple turkey sausage is like very Iconic and whatever. True. Everyone shut up, I'm tasting the sauce. Everyone, Everyone shut up. What are they fucking quiet? A roux? Was it good? There's complexity. There's sweetness. Oh God. There's acid. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> around, that's really good. You can let it keep going. That okay, awesome. I just want y'all to know that did make me feel really good because my boyfriend says that everything I make is really good, but he love me, so you know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so to like hear just to say that it's actually good, I'm like, ah! What the, okay. what? What are you doing? What is that? Ew! Oh God! It's our turdoggin! No! No! Yes! Oh yes. no! Oh goodness! It's gotta be delicious. Yes. I'm sure of it. I think I want why a little your, bit. Why is your boy so thick? It. I because it literally has to be kind of. All right. It's not gonna fit in the bun really. Yeah, mine's, mine's not super. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is the stupidest thing I've ever done. We doing the most. The most. This bacon is finally cooked down. It took forever. So I added the onions to it and I'm gonna smash a few cloves of garlic, add that in, let that cook just a teeny bit. And then I'll add some chicken broth and then I'll finally throw the green beans in and let those just simmer and get really bacony and oniony and good. Then we'll season them up. And Jackie's actually working on a mix for our Parmesan herb biscuits that we're gonna throw some hot honey butter on. Those are gonna be really freaking good. 
Ooh, yes, that is stuffing city. Mm -hmm. Dressing city, excuse me, sorry, dressing city. It smells so good, <laughs> too. And I am making our quote unquote funnel cake batter. It's just mashed potatoes that I'm that adding some cornstarch to, to thicken it up. That's not gonna change the flavor at all. It's truly just to making it pipeable and making it so that it stays uniform while I fry it. Are we ready to okay. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, Lord have mercy. Jesus! That hardly seems like enough time. Uh, can I get a sheet tray? Sheet tray? Sheet tray? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ. The way I think we make this into a sports game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna yeah. pour it in. Dump it Look on. at me, I'm pouring. Hot biscuit mix is not good biscuit mix, so we want to keep this as cold as possible. We don't want to melt the butter. We want the butter to stay relatively whole so that when it gets into the oven, we want it to melt in the oven so that it steams the biscuit and makes it get tall and big. But if it melts before it gets that chance, then the biscuit won't get tall and we want a tall biscuit. I feel like you guys are explaining everything so well. I'm trying. And I'm like, I'm making stuff. <laughs> Just quickly, um, I'm going to put my turdoggins in the oven. I'm sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry! <laughs> Sabotage. Look at this expert flour sprinkler. Wow. So what I'm doing is technically called a letter fold, because you fold the dough like it's a letter that you're sending to your bae. I don't write any letters to my boyfriend. I probably should. Text messages these days, that's kind of accurate, <laughs> right? Actually, yeah. you know yeah. what? I did write him a letter, and it was really cute. Oh, you did? It was on a sticky note. What did it say? No, you can't know Uh-uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I made off camera, I made the a uh, mix of dairy mixture that I added pumpkin to. It's basically just, we're making churro bread pudding. So I made a dairy mixture with heavy cream, eggs, a bunch of different things, and pumpkin. Ooh, <laughs> Pumpkin, God. cinnamon, churro. Oh my God. Good God. Wow. I'm gonna go put these in a different oven and in another room because we are running out of ovens. I'll do that for you. You got me? Yep. Thank you. 450 for 30 minutes. Got it. So we are finally basing our turkeys right here. We're putting on extra, extra layers to give you that nice barbecue flavor. So you take a <laughs> bite, whoever's gonna take a bite, and um, try them, they're gonna fall in love with them. So we're making caramel corn, and we needed um, caramel, and we could not find caramel at the store. So now I am attempting to make caramel with just raw sugar, and it is melting very quickly, but you can like just keep stirring it and make your own homemade caramel. Do I think this gonna work? Yes. Am I praying while I'm doing it? Yes. Um, and I hope it come out delicious. And we're gonna have to add some butter to it to make it more like caramel saucy mm -hmm. and a little bit of cream even once it's all melted down and it looks delicious. I, it. And I, I do want to say I've never done this before. I just only saw the concept on the internet. So. <laughs> I'm just uh, pre-batching for our um, old fashioned. We thought that an old fashioned would be perfect with all of the smoky barbecue. It's a perfect drink to pair with barbecue food. So um, I'm just making it so that when we're ready to go, I can just pour the whiskey over ice and boom, bada bam, you got your cocktail. I really did feel like when we walked in here, I was like, hmm, we taking that ass down. <laughs> yes. Um, but y'all really give, I'm shaking That's my boots real. That's good. That's really good. <laughs> that makes me very happy. See how it's turning into, I'm getting excited. Okay. I didn't think it was gonna work. I need one more saucepan, please. This is our Papples. Jackie sliced them up for me. I added a little bit of that Johnny Walker that she used to make the old fashioned with and I squeezed some of the orange juice in there. And I'm gonna cook them down and they're gonna become a compote. Hopefully, eventually, at some point, there's a lot of them in there, so I don't know how long it's gonna take. Hold on one second, let me throw some butter in there for you. I'm Ooh. like, she moving quick. I know, you can take her off the heat. No, I am, I'm holding it up. I'm coming, Adriana! I'm like, I need that butter, H. I know I'm coming, I couldn't <laughs> find it, I couldn't find it. <laughs> You're not gonna die! It's gonna be fine! Okay, ready? Yeah. Oh, she's not sizzling that She's much. going to. But this is gonna cool it down, which will stop the cooking also, so that's good. Good vibes only. Leaky caramel. That's fine. There were still eight minutes left on it. But it's fine. <laughs> yeah. It seems as though in my effort to make a smaller biscuit, I did not change the baking time. 4.50 for 30 minutes. Got it. Um, which is fine. Fine. That's fine. This is fine. There'll just be some um, crispy biscuits is what we'll call them. Oh, you know, Ooh. It's fine. Meanwhile, we're over here doing <laughs> cooking chemistry. You know, wait, wait, what time is it? Crushing it. it. Me. Yeah, how much time do we have? We definitely can't how make much, more. No. Oh, okay. Definitely can't make more. I, definitely can't much? make more. Definitely don't have time for that. That's minutes? crazy. So much more starch. If you're not making a mess in the kitchen, oh, then you ain't yeah. cooking. We got salt in there. Yeah, got salt in there. I love you so much in a work appropriate way. Actually, you know what? No, I love you like a sister right now. Oh! <laughs> get on your nerves, but you still love me at the end of the day. not getting on my nerves at all. Look at the turd! <laughs> I 
hate you. I'm just kidding. I'm actually really impressed and happy that it stayed in form. Like, I want to try that. You just made something, like, you innovated mashed potatoes. You we innovated. innovated. And that's what I said. You, you oh, okay, y'all, y'all, you, yeah. you yeah. all. Try it now. Wait, hold on, hold on. Those papples are damn good. <laughs> we, we like awesome. papples. Toast and all hormones. Okay. Oh, 10 minutes left. 10 minutes left. Oh, okay, you, you need to you switch to tell me what you want me to do. Can you grab that rotisserie chicken? And we gonna start taking the skin off of that boy. I feel like I really wish I didn't have to use this rotisserie chicken, but it doesn't seem like that's up to me. Forgot about the rotisserie chicken. You want me to just start ripping it? God yeah. dang it. So all <laughs> we're gonna do, skin. I honestly, I'm not about to put chicken in a dish where turkey is the star. I'm not doing that. But what I will do is uh, fry up some chicken skins really quick. And I'm gonna sprinkle them on top of the green beans for like a little extra hit of salt. Hell yeah. A little crispity bispity. Um, that's not a word. But that's what that's what we gonna do. A little chicken skin bucket. Let's see what this does. Depending on what texture that. Oh, Ooh, child. <laughs> Depending on the texture of that, it might even actually taste good with the ice cream infused with the the. the... Oh now, wait a minute now. Hot. Wait a minute now. You want? Okay, here's here's a dastardly thing we're gonna do. Are you ready? We're gonna make <laughs> a potato chicken wing, which is that we're gonna form potato around this, and we're gonna make it into a drumstick. And then we're gonna fry it. You can mix the chicken awesome. with it. Yeah, yeah, Isn't yeah. Isn't that a Brazilian thing, like a potato yeah, yeah, yeah. chicken? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, Justin, give us more than just. Defense. <laughs> Defense. <laughs> Do we need plates? Yeah. Oh, okay. So what do we need? All of my stuff is in casseroles. Right. No, Whoa, so what? Okay, ah, let's God, get into wait. hyperdrive. Let's make a cocktail. All right. Let's get this stuff plated. It's I have to roast the freaking chicken bone that's going in. Ooh. Please don't do something stupid. All right, so for my cocktail, I'm doing the same cranberry sauce that I made. I'm putting a little bit at the, maybe a lot of bit at the bottom. I'm gonna add a shot of vodka. <laughs> and okay, then I'm great. just gonna top it with champagne. Yes. One minute. Whoa, okay, here we go, put oh, that yeah, there. Really bring it over, bring it over, bring it over. This is so hot. This can go away. Hot, oh hot. We're usually so much more vocal, this is just actually so scary now. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to scream. My that bad. was so you did. scary. You didn't mean to scream. Oh yeah, don't, don't go crazy because it's really bitter. Okay. Don't go crazy, it's really bitter. We're so chill. If I get one scoop in this ball, it counts. Go. We're very chill. You got it, chill. you got it, you got it. Ow! Two, um, one. Stands up. Hands up. We did it! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You killed it, you killed it. I feel really emotional. I don't know if I feel positively emotional. I feel like we really put each other through it. Don't worry about it, don't worry about it. I don't think Adriana's happy. Listen, I just wanted to get it. It's about everything's okay. Dang, we about to eat, y'all. We did it. Yay! You changed your shirt too. You're yeah, I got I made a big mess. <laughs> and I was big hot, so I took it off. And I'm sorry. I wanna know who else has a sweaty back besides just me. Oh, all, all of, of us, too, yeah. really. I hope some of it went into the food for extra season. Mm. Let's get those judges in here. Yeah. 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 I'm nervous. I was about to ask if you were nervous. Oh, God. I'm just ready for y'all to come and try it. So let's get these judges in. We have two today, our all-star judges, returning champions. We have the food director, the man of all dishes. We have Robert Satius. And who else we got? Oh, uh, the the woman who does it. Oh, that did it not come out the way I wanted it to. It was, was supposed to be like a, oh. We <laughs> Producer here at Delish Kitchens and my very own producer for Iconic Eats, Julia Smith! Yay! <laughs> Hopefully your friend too. She's, a, she's kind of my bestie. <laughs> Come on in, guys! <laughs> we, You guys have to eat all this food. All right, so let's walk you through. I want to introduce our food. It does have an overall thing. Mm -hmm. um, as you guys know, I am the host of Iconic Eats and Justin had this great idea for us to do a theme park 
Thanksgiving dinner. So we have some staples here that you would see at a theme park, but with a Thanksgiving twist. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna start with my drink, which is a kind of like a cranberry champagne spritzer. Spritz. So I made a cranberry reduction with a little bit of sugar and some holiday spices. It has a shot of vodka, and then it is topped with um, our specific store's label. The a very fancy champagne. Champagne. You know, our budget was still in there. Even with champagne. <laughs> our two proteins, we have what I have now called the turdoggin, which is hot dogs that have been wrapped in apple turkey sausage, topped with cranberry relish and cornbread dressing. Straightforward. Very straightforward. What's our other one? <laughs> Adriana, keep the confidence up, girl. <laughs> We have a turkey leg. You know, turkey because legs. Because turkey legs are famous at theme parks. We made mashed potato funnel cakes. Funnel cakes. Mm -hmm. What's on the top of them? Oh, it's Parmesan. Parmesan. Like our, it's our, it's our, like, it's our like powdered wait. sugar. Wait, what? It's these are they're, they're pumpkin. So, he's in. He's not out. That's why he had to put this out okay, and bring down yeah. to look. Okay, your face was scaring me because you were like, <laughs> you were like, like on a roller coaster. You were like, I don't know if I want to do this or not. Okay, so this he's is doing it. It's a funnel cake, and you know how it's powdered sugar on top of yeah, the funnel cake. But instead, we did Parmesan cheese. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's mashed potatoes too. Then we have a caramel corn casserole, which is topped with a burnt caramel. And then this is the rest of the corn dressing because we had the rest of it. And we didn't. We only sprinkled a little bit on the dog, so have as much of that you want. And then we have, because we had to use a rotisserie chicken, we have a little um, chicken bone, which is just deep fried mashed potatoes with chicken in it. Um, that's just an extra thing that we had to do because Julia made us. Um, <laughs> I'm regretting it now. And uh, finally, we're gonna finish with our churro pumpkin bread pudding. I really think y'all are gonna enjoy it. Mm -hmm. I hope. Wow. How do we start? Where do we start? What's going on? I'm gonna leave that to y'all because we're yeah. not allowed to watch you do this. But please right. enjoy Bon Appetit. Wow, goodbye. It's... I'm thinking we start with a drink because if we're a little liquored up, yes. the flavors. You're good at this. You're good. You're good at this. Okay, and cheers. Right. Yeah. Cheers. Okay, cheers. Wow, happy Thanksgiving. Okay. okay, it goes down. It goes down. It goes down. So that's the starting point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's herbalicious. There's a floral quality to it. Um, you, yeah, mm -hmm. right? Didn't you get the floral <laughs> flowers? It tastes like it's but from it, France. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's French. I think. I, I think I want it to be a little bit bubblier, mm. but it's fun. It's, it's fun. fun. What are you looking for in a dressing? Like, I don't want it too dry. It doesn't look dry. Okay. Mm. That's kind of fun. There's a lot of thought in here, right? It's what fun. Is, there's a little what sweet. What is the aftertaste? Well, you're getting a lot of sweet up front, too. And then you're getting, there's, is there scallions in there or something? Like, onion. An, an onion. Lots yeah. of onion? This is good. Wow. There's a little funky flavor at the end. There's some gaminess to it too. Why am I getting gaminess? That's maybe that. Did they like take a turkey and waft it? They they they, they like squeeze the turkey. Can so you cut this one in half for us? Yeah. Ha um. Wait. Um, yeah. One. Not all. No. <gasps> no. <laughs> hmm? Um. Um. Yeah. No. I. I, I think it's. It's just so scary looking. It's scary. No, this it looks, is terrifying no, no, looking. It looks scary, but I want to eat it. No, and I want to keep eating it. The hot dog's really I'm good. Pl playing with it like this, but it's banging. Mm -hmm. Did they put like maple the syrup on is, the bottom? I don't know what they did with the cranberries falling off. That's a little bit hard to eat. Yeah. You know? It kind of rocks. Yeah, but it's really good. Like this makes sense at a theme park. Yeah. They were telling us theme park mm -hmm. theme. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing it. Okay. All right, we're moving on. Okay, what do you want to try next? Yeah, all right. Ooh. Yeah, that, that works. That, Cream that works. corn. That works. The hit of the thing, the ah, the drizzle on top with the sweetness. One thing, more salt. Needs more salt. I think it, it needs more salt. You know, maybe my salt, I have a high salt threshold. What do you think? Need more salt? Yeah, I, I could have more salt. A I more could salt. have and sea salt on it and I'd be really happy. There it is. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, but that's good. That's really good though. That tastes like dessert. I don't know if it's supposed to be dessert, but it tastes I like dessert. I don't know. Holy that's heavy. Look at how pretty. This right. is the most beautiful dish, for sure. That rocks. Wow. That rocks. That slaps. Wow. Wow. I like oh that. God. Wow. Wait, That's fun. On. That's fun. What is that? <laughs> Rob, what is that? Rob, we have to talk about this. What's that little baby? That's for you. Why is it a baby? Do I have to eat it? Yeah, you do. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's some funny <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> Yeah, this is good. That's really? Funny. Yeah, I don't know who did this, but... 
with a little something. That's funny. What is it? Mashed like a mashed potato deep fried something? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. good. Yeah. Thank it's you. It's really funny. Thank you. <laughs> cheers. 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 It's awesome being here. Jesus. Oh god. Oh god. That is very salty. Holy. The outside. We're getting spice salty. too though. I don't mind that saltiness. No. Well, you're a salt freak, aren't you? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I don't mind the salt. Either. I like feeling like a cave woman. This feels wonderful. Wow, that's good I love too. This. Jesus. We're not really giving any flavor profiles. There's We're no, just saying, mmm, love it, something. delicious. So this, oh, it's very light. It's I don't light. know why it's I like thought it was going to be heavy. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Look at okay. those little, Look at that. little airy it's pockets. Like airy. You know what this needs? Like a little air. gravy it's dipping. Like yeah, yeah, right. Oh, great. Ooh. Yeah. Wow. The heck? Why did it taste like little parm chips? I don't know. I almost want more. You know what would have been cool? Some what? parm in there. You know what I mean? Is oh. there parm in there? Like in the... In, in the, it, so in it got it? a little melty? Yeah. It's light as hell, too, right? Why is it like a cloud? I know. Damn. Out of the... How many dishes did they make? One, two, three, four, yeah. five, six, and a drink seven. Yeah. Which was your favorite and least favorite? I think the 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 duckin the the, the turducken was your favorite was my favorite okay yeah least favorite I think this was good a little one dimensionality to it mm -hmm. what about you you know what it's really like I didn't think the turducken yeah I think I was the most horrified by that because I yeah. watched Justin make it yeah and watching with his bare hands handling yeah. turkey meat like you can't that look, and then the can't words look. Adriana was using while making yeah. it was really horrifying but it's delicious it's really good. it doesn't yeah. need the bun and then the thing i the i don't need another bite of i'm gonna say the stuffing or sorry the dressing Ooh. i think that the dressing is fine and i think yeah. it i think just a gravy honestly is what they were missing from yeah. a few of the dishes yeah. but otherwise yeah. like this f rocks yeah. righteous oh wait you guys yeah, should be wait you guys should be between us wait, wait. okay can we, can we do that again wait you're wait. gonna be in the middle oh, oh both of us right like this oh okay yes. we can do that that yeah, works sorry that works. is that it's fine what do we have? Oh, um, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears yeah. is what we have. How Truly. Much blood? It's a couple drops. Mostly <laughs> sweat and tears, honestly. Mostly that, yeah, 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 yeah. For the extra salt. So we made a spiced and barbecue glazed turkey. We broke the turkey down, rubbed it with some spices, glazed it with some barbecue sauce that Jackie made with her heart and all her love. We have some braised green beans with bacon uh, that's topped with a little bit of fried chicken skin, because obviously we have to use that rotisserie chicken, and chicken skin's delicious, so threw that on there. We have a Parmesan and herb buttermilk biscuit. We have, for dessert, some pear apples that have been stewed and they have like a little pear apple caramel situation that they're sitting in, so that's fun. And then also some croissant brittle, we'll call it, croissant chips. Yeah, some honey glazed croissant chips. And then of course to drink an old fashioned because that's what you wanna drink when you're having Texas barbecue. Yeah. Oh, also that's the theme, it's Texas barbecue Thanksgiving in honor of Jackie not being able to go home for Thanksgiving. <laughs> we want you to feel like you're at home. And we hope you guys feel at home when you eat it. Yeah. And you get that good, like, yeah. home. Down home family home. feel. You don't really sell it, you're like, yeah. yeah. Oh. And yeah. you too I feel hope. the Texas, the Southern hospitality when you take a bite. Oh. Enjoy. Goodbye, my friends. Oh, so should we get out? You have to get out now. Okay, okay. okay. now you Look at that. But like, look at the care, the ice cube. One thing, you know, with the pith, make sure you take the white off next time. Mm -hmm. But, but, still, still, well, this is I killer. No, mine does too. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's a white. How many uh, points are we deducting? No, they lose. They're cool, done. We don't have to try anything. Fucking We're lose. done. <laughs> I believe Brooke told us to well, go for the leg. This? Are we gonna like, are you, <laughs> you get the other side? Absolutely Side. not. Oh, it's so warm and sticky. <laughs> um, oh, uh, some great meat. Oh, there's spice on it. Yeah, they put a little, now. did they put some hot sauce on there? They, a little they, Texas they, heat. Oh yeah, they did. They a little did. Texas Pete. That's good. I, yeah. I like this one mm -hmm. more than that one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. There's more character here. Yes. You can feel that like, there was like intention yeah. and personality. Yep. This looks so good. It's like a green bean soup. It's yeah. very saucy. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, I want to put it on something. Starch. Does it taste like soy but sauce? Does it have like an Asian flavor to you? Or am I just making that up? Hold up. Hold up. I don't think so. <laughs> but <laughs> maybe I'm wrong. It's fine. I don't review okay. food. I don't yeah. review food. I don't That's review right. food. It's fine. Let's get the biscuit. Okay, Rob, what do you think about this by the it's looks overdone. of it? The colors. It's oh, it's overcooked. 
We, we need to push it. Okay. Okay. Oh. I'm like sweating from mm. the meat. It's interesting because it's Look overcooked the, and then undercooked. Yeah, yeah, it's a little, it's a, it's a little layers. far done. They took it a little far. They pushed it a little far. But the honey works. What is the what there, is the herb in it again? It's reminding me of like dill? a ched, of like a like instead of a cheddar bay biscuit, like a dill bay biscuit. Yeah, if it weren't overcooked, it would be. Oh, that's yeah. the only thing. If yeah. they took it out a few minutes early, yeah, we'd over. be in heaven. I've never heard of this before. No. Oh, yeah. She might be onto something. She's onto it. Wow. Oh wait, let me try the peach. Oh wait, it's um not peach. It's, it's a apple. no, what it's a pear it? apple. Pear, it's a pear it's apple. A yeah, it's a It's apple. a It's a yeah. Papple. Right. Sorry, it's a papple. <laughs> yep. Have you ever had a papple? Mm -mm, but I want more papple. I'm into the papple. I love papple. Look how nicely they cut this. It's very wonderfully sliced. The, I love how they kept the skin on. Sorry, I interrupted you. How dare! This is fun. This, this is, is an really activity, good. and I like my dessert to have mm -hmm. a little bit of an activity. It was a playfulness. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah. This but not like a bullshit playfulness where it's. No, seriously. I am. Um, some they, people just go, you know, do, do dumb stuff, but this is smart. Yeah, it's not like it's like a it's Jenga really set that right. you're eating and you're right. like, cool. It's my favorite? Mm-hmm. Oh, God. This was my favorite. The green beans? Yeah. Okay. Least favorite? Like, you don't need another bite of it. You're I like, I'm fine. this. The biscuits. I feel like the biscuits would be my favorite. If, if they, if, 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 yeah, if and only if. Okay. I'm going to say, even though it gave me intense meat sweats and I literally had to leave the room, <laughs> the meat, the yeah. turkey I is phenomenal. If it's you give me meat sweats and make me literally feel things where my body is yeah. exuding it out of me, yeah. incredible. Yeah, and the biscuit as well. It's just, yep. but I know, in the, I know if they could do it again. If they could do it again. But it doesn't matter. That's not what it's we're judging that's on. Not, that's not life, what huh? judging on. It's a hard job we have. It's going to be a tough one. All right. Or maybe not. <laughs> so this has been a really 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 long day but that's okay because thanksgiving is usually a long day so true. in the spirit of that's actually accurate yeah, yeah. yeah. i feel like it really was thanksgiving what did you think what's like the final one? part yeah do what? you want to know who won or do you want us to give like a quick note on each person no. i kind of just tell us who won oh i want right. to oh. well tell us who won and then notes on everything okay okay, okay. 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 who's right. who's announcing julia's not i'm announcing <laughs> the winner of grocery showdown Thanksgiving edition goes to. Okay. Broken Jack. <laughs> oh, I knew they won. I knew they won. Flipping the table. I knew that they had won, and I told you guys before. I was totally okay. I'm such a Hufflepuff. I was totally okay with not winning because I'm really proud of like what we created. Absolutely. Oh, Honestly, no. yeah. You should be. I'm not. I'm sad, and I'm pissed we lost. Oh, no. I'm kidding. I'm actually. I totally agree. We did a lot here. I'm very happy. You want to give your quick notes and then yeah. get out of our faces? You want to. Lots of ingenuity and playfulness here, yes. which is awesome. Too much in a way, and it got in the way of certain techniques that were not, and certain way you combine flavors was a bit too overwrought in excess. some, right? A little excess. excess. But I like the thinking. Here, there was a combination of some like cool whimsical stuff like the croissant paddle. Even this was classy. The technique of the slicing of the apples, perfect. Never. The green beans, totally awesome. Um, and the, the, the turkey was crazy. I'm really excited to try all your food, but you two need to leave so I can do it. Okay, we're gonna go. <laughs> we're gonna go. Thank you, Thank you. You made the right choice. You did, you did, you really did. I'm so proud of you. I got a compliment on the cut of, the, of my papple. I heard, I was so incredibly proud. Oh my gosh. He probably thought I did it. That's how good it was. Hey, I'll take it. I think the arc of both of our guests is really incredible today. I think that Jackie really coming into her own as a new junior chef. I think that Adriana taking risks that she hadn't taken in the kitchen in before and it yeah. paying off. Yeah. And truly, like a lot of this dish these dishes are yours entirely. Like you engineered a lot of these, the drink. Mm. This is entirely yours, like truly, truly Gorgiana. Yeah. Amazing work. Yeah, I, like I said before, I'm very proud of like what I created. Um I don't I don't have to be like I don't have to whip. I'm not, no, no, you won. You, that was, and that was amazing. Thank you. But like, I don't have to win to like feel good about it. I just like want to have fun. And that's what theme park food is supposed to make you feel like. Yeah. yeah. That's joy. Is it the best food you ever had in your life? No. Absolutely not. I tell y'all that all the time. But am I having a good time all eating it? Heck yeah. We deserve a big rest, a big drink. But before we do that, what do we got to say to them, Brooke? 
What we gotta say? If you wanna see us cooking more whimsical things from different grocery stores, let us know in the comments where you want us to go. If it's a niche grocery store in the South or in the Northwest that nobody knows about and you want us to go there and cook from that food, please leave it in the comments and tell us all about it. Jackie and Adriana, where can we find you and more of your stuff? Yeah, you can find me at Jackie Grubbs. Yay! Woo! You can find me at Bippity Boppity Broke or on Iconic Eats here at Delish. Absolutely, and you can find all of us on our YouTube channel, which you must subscribe to, ring that bell, do all the things you're supposed to do, and I think we're gonna sign off, right yeah. guys? Yeah. It's been lovely. Cheers, Woo! guys. Thanks for coming. Thank we're you. cheersing again. Yes. Cheers. Cheersing again. Cheers. Grateful for you. Grateful, thankful for everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. <laughs>